The project starts in the summer of uh, 2020 to uh, contribute something to relieve the COVID-19 pandemic. There has been a lot of projects doing disinfection robots based on ultraviolet light. They only applies to uh, rooms without occupants. So we started to think, well, uh, what can we do with um, occupied rooms? This is a problem related with fluid mechanics, right? Uh, when somebody coughs, this plume of turbulent flow can transport this uh, virus. The idea originally was to integrate this in uh, a real application, uh, like the using of robots to disinfect inside classroom. So we did this interdisciplinary uh, project using the information from fluid mechanics to robotics. First step, we try to simplify the problem by focusing on um, what happens in the classroom scenario where students are sitting still and facing the same direction. And then we try to predict where particles will be recognizing humans uh, in the camera and avoiding uh, any possible collisions. But additional to that, we have this filtration uh, module. So we have an analog filter, right? We agree to run it. But we have also like a, this kind of Bernoulli section that is in charge to make this air like a go in a converging way. Normally we see the HEPA filter sitting in one place. So here, this is something that's moving and it's sucking in air and there's a lot of particles that can be captured all at once compared to some other system. There were two problems, air uh, disinfection and surface disinfection. The micro jets, which would be at the bottom, uh, so they would be doing the lower level disinfection. The part that I worked on was the electrostatic jet, which is on that robotic arm that sits on top of the robot. In a room with human activity, the layout may change, the people's behavior may change, um, they are scattered around, they may move around, and it's hard for a traditional fixed simulation to predict how the situation will, will evolve. However, if we have smart robots equipped with sensors and we can actually see, for example, where humans really are in real time, I think that will be an exciting um, progress. I'm really, really proud of this project because it was applied to real world problems. When I really see that that information really can work to save lives, like in this problem of COVID-19, I really was excited about that.